Okay, who here agrees that life begins at conception? Say amen. amen. Yeah, it begins at conception. Well, let's show it from the Bible. Look down at your Bible at Isaiah chapter 7, verse 14. Therefore, the Lord himself shall give you a sign. Behold, a virgin shall conceive and bear a son and shall call his name Emmanuel. Now flip over, if you would, to Matthew chapter 1, because in Matthew chapter 1, this exact scripture is quoted in the New Testament. In the Old Testament, it said, a virgin shall conceive and bear a son. Well, in Matthew chapter 1, verse 23, the Bible reads, Behold, a virgin shall be with child and shall bring forth a son, and they shall call his name Emmanuel, which being interpreted is God with us. So isn't it interesting that in the Old Testament, it says conceive, and in the New Testament, it says she'll be with child. You know what that tells me? That conception produces a child. Not a blastocyst or an embryo or a fetus, but God considers that a child. Flip over to Hebrews chapter 11. Now, while you're turning to Hebrews chapter 11, we're not going to turn to all of these for sake of time, but there are so many scriptures that we could use to prove that life begins at conception. For example, we could go to uh, the fact that John the Baptist leaped in his mother's womb when John the Baptist was brought in close proximity with Mary, who was pregnant with Jesus, and the two children were in their mother's wombs. And when John the Baptist got near Jesus, he leaped in his mother's womb. That shows there was a spiritual connection there. The Bible says that John the Baptist was filled with the Holy Ghost from his mother's womb. The Bible talks about the fact in Psalm 139 that God knows us in the womb and forms and fashions us. And in fact, anyone who says that a baby in its mother's womb is not alive is just a complete fool. It's really only just the most atheistic, evil fool that would say such a thing, other than politicians who say it routinely because of the fact that they want to be elected in liberal areas. So they lie and say, I believe that life begins at birth. I watched a debate one time between two politicians. One was a Republican and one was a Democrat. And they were running on the East Coast in a very liberal area. And the debate moderator asked them, when do you believe that life begins? One of them said, birth. And then they said to the other one, when do you believe life begins? Birth. Now that is so scientifically stupid, and it's amazing to me today how the atheists will claim to be so into science, and we believe in the science. But it's funny when you confront them with science that flies in the face of their wicked ideology, then all of a sudden they don't believe in science anymore. Science will tell you it's a lie. I mean, science will tell you that a tree is a lie. Science will tell you that an earthworm is a lie. But a human being living in its mother's womb, nine months gestation, one day away from being born, they'll say it's not alive because they're liars and they worship Satan, that's why.